We've got some brand new golf balls by TaylorMade today. The TaylorMade Tour Response and the TaylorMade Soft Response. But there's an extra special bit of alignment that TaylorMade have done for the Tour Response that could transform your putting. Let's find out now. So the TaylorMade Tour Response and Soft Response will be TaylorMade's mid-level golf ball for 2022. They're top level, they're one with the top price bracket, the TP5 and TP5X. This is the ones that all the Tour players are using that obviously have the fastest swing speeds. But a lot of our amateurs don't need that. A lower compression golf ball usually feels softer, but for us also it's usually a little bit cheaper. And that's why this mid-level golf ball comes with an RRP of $39.99 bit cheaper than the TP5s. But although it is their mid-level golf ball, it still has all the technology in the upper price bracket golf ball. So it's got that tour response, softer feel, better value, and just a golf ball for the masses of amateur golfers. This golf ball has the same dimple patterns as the TP5 and TP5X. It also has a speed mantle, meaning it's gonna have faster speeds for those lower compression golf balls, kind of like the trampoline effect that you have in the TaylorMade Stealth. But the most interesting thing that TaylorMade have added to the tour response golf ball is stripe. Stripe is a 360 clear path alignment right slap bang in the middle of the golf ball that's said to improve everyone's putting. They have tested this on tour with tour players, tested it on every type of condition, and they say it's supposed to improve the role of everyone's putting by about 20%. A bit of a, a bit of an ambiguous statement, that one, but they say it's supposed to improve everyone's putting and it's supposed to compete with the likes of Truvis, Triple Track, things like that, basically. The TP5s do have the picks, but this is now a mid-level golf ball with a real significant alignment path for us, for the amateur golfers. But how will it actually perform? I've already got a few thoughts. Let's hit this little chip shot and approach the green and let's talk about it. Oh, so close. So although this golf ball feels great, it's a soft, low compression golf ball that around the greens from approach shots, the shots that I've hit with it over the last few weeks, it really does feel like a top notch golf ball and a ball that I would really recommend to anyone. The tour response from a base level, very good mid-level golf ball. And especially even though the RRP is $39.99, it's gonna come down for about 30 quid or so, great value for money. But the stripe, I'm, I'm not so sure of yet. I'm really not. And um, there's one thing behind that because this golf ball, I mean, why is it green? Why is it green? I'm so confused as to that color behind it because we play green grass, <laughs> green rough, green everything. What I'd struggle with some golf balls that use different types of colors is, first of all, it takes a little bit to get used to. Strix and Q Star Divide, very peculiar golf ball when you look down at it, but it's very helpful. This golf ball is exactly the same. It looks very odd looking down at it, but with it being green, I struggle to see it <laughs> at some times. Now, I don't have the best eyesight in the world, not a lot of people do, but when you do look down at it, especially in some nice, really, let's say Florida type style grass, this golf ball, the color that it has in the middle is quite similar to that of a summer grass. So you might not see it. For the main color, I think that's a little bit odd. I'm sure they will provide other colors in the future, but in hindsight, I can kind of move past that for now, okay? I'll move past that and talk about how it feels on the green. What I do really like about this golf ball, about the clear path alignment, is just how large the clear path alignment is. Meaning that you are going to 100% know if you're hitting it with a slight cut or a slight draw with not the correct type of topspin. This means that now if I just hit this putt here, which I think is about half a cup outside from the left, if I can see it immediately moving off, not completely straight, I know I'm not gonna hit completely the best putt in the world. Not too bad. Now this is certainly gonna help a lot of amateur golfers for the putts that they are afraid of, I think is the best way to put it. Let's say from four foot and in, if you are absolutely terrified of those putts because you're scared you're gonna pull it, push it, having the biggest possible alignment marker will work really well for you. So in that regard, a very positive golf ball. I guess one thing you can say is uh, sometimes it's a bit of a pain to line the golf ball up every single time. You will have to do that with this golf ball because it looks damn right very, very weird if you don't. But again, if you're willing to put in the time to align your golf ball every single time, it's going to make sure that you are a better putter in the long run. Now, if we stop talking about this stripe just now and just talk about the tour response, it's a very positive golf ball. I've taken it to the full swing simulator at Silvermere and four shots, let's say, that were from a four iron and above. Wasn't testing anything that was too fast because it's a low compression golf ball. Didn't notice any 
any distance loss in comparison to, let's say, the top market golf balls, the Chrome Soft, the Pro V1s, nothing at all. And I really like the soft feel around the greens for chip shots, especially chip shots and putting. So tall response and soft response as a golf ball, Taylor made have really hit the mark here for a mid-level golf ball that can compete with all the masses of a 100% urethane cover, low compression, let's say the Strix and Q Star Tour, things like that. Because this golf ball has a lot of different options for you and it performs very well. <sighs> it's going straight back in the bag for me. For putting and tee shots with the stripe, I think that's where the golf ball is completely fine because you can place the golf ball in whichever way you want. With putting, you're gonna place it on the line you want. And with the tee shot, I guess you can put it either horizontal, vertical, so the line doesn't look that strange. But when you're in the rough, when you're chipping, when you're in the fairway, that's when the golf ball is going to look a little bit odd and it will take a while to get used to. Having a 360 alignment path that is genuinely 50% of the golf ball is quite a bold move for TaylorMade. And that's why this is an additional thing you can get to the golf ball. You can just get the tour response completely bland, completely white with the logo, which is a good move. I think I may have been a little bit critical of the golf ball being green because if i can just show you where it is there i mean we can all see that golf ball i think the green isn't as obvious as i thought it was going to be and it is very visible on fairways still a little bit of an odd choice but not a problem there all right a new thing i'm going to add to some golf ball video reviews now we're going to do a bit of a spin test we've got 100 yards here to a lovely green hit about three four five shots with these brand new golf balls and see how much they spin a fairly easy shot but we can see for a mid-level golf ball, perhaps your ride, you're not gonna get a lot, a lot of reception on some greens. Let's test it out. Okay. I mean, if I can hit the green, it would be good. Okay. Oh, God's sake. Couldn't really see there how much they span. I will look at the drone footage and give you a rating. Do I think this golf ball is for everyone? No, definitely not. I think a lot of golf ball purists who just like a plain, simple golf ball will look at this and shudder. But there are a lot of people that this golf ball could help out. If you are someone who really wants a significant alignment marker, such as even more than Truvis, even more than TP5 picks, even more than triple track technology, then I would try this out because it is so significant that it's very difficult to not notice where you're going wrong with your putting stroke. Guys, let me know what you think of the TaylorMade Tour response and soft response. And also let me know what you think of the alignment stripe that it's got going on in the tour response it's definitely different but some of you may like it so let me know what you think of it and if you've got any questions in the comments please and i'll answer all of them guys if you are new to golf magic as well please smash that subscribe button it helps us out and we've got a lot of videos coming very soon can we do any comparisons with this lovely golf ball to triple track technology picks all those stuff let me know down in the comments i think i need to practice my wedge gem a little bit more so i'm gonna go do that i'll see you guys at the next video